Mr. Ed here. Today, October the 7th, 2017. Today I'm in Terrytown, Louisiana, only about maybe not even six miles from New Orleans and about 45 miles from the Abbey. And I got a call from a homeowner saying they're renovating, renovating their home and, uh, and that they've got some bees uh, in, the, in the floor space between the apartment and the, and the garage. And she called and asked if we could come and remove them. So I got today with me my buddy Wreck-It Ralph. He's inside, he's setting up. He's already chomping at the bit to cut some sheetrock and sh show the bees. Uh, but before we show the bees on the inside, let's show where the bees are coming on the outside. And uh, we'll get this thing going. And there's our bees. Really typical situation. They go underneath the skirt board and then they find their way uh, in between the floor joists and then they start building their comb. I'm going to grab the cam. We're going to go inside and uh, show you what we got inside there. There's our signature right there. And there's our lights right there. So they're right in this area of the floor joist right here. So by the grace of God, these Terrytown bees, they're going to become Ralph's bees in just a little while. It's time to rank them. And there's our comb, folks. Ralph did another super job finding them for us. We got to deal with that gas pipe. That might be a little bit of trouble, but we can work around it. And then uh, he opened up this side over here. And you can see there's a couple of sections of brand new comb on this side. And then on this other side, there's nothing over here. So we we got a bunch of comb in here to, to remove, but we're with them. And let's hope the bees are too. What we're doing is, uh, as we remove the honeycomb, we're sticking them on the side. We don't want to frame these things up yet, because we are going to put this stuff back onto the bees. They, they're going to need it. So we're going, to, uh, we're going to give them most of this stuff. It's going to be given back to them. They may have to go into a second box, but it is going to go back to them. So this is so far what we removed uh, from the hive. And let me give you a shot of what's upstairs. And here we are looking at we cut out so far. So we're, we're actually at the first um, signs of brood right here. We're at the first signs of brood and we've probably got eight or nine sections of comb 
That's why we, we've got the uh, honey put on the side because we don't want to frame this stuff up right now and run out of room to uh, put our brood in. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, revacuuming and uh, cutting out uh, the uh, brood comb and putting that in frames. And you know I'm looking for the queen. So we've been at it for about, oh, I, I guess, at least two plus hours. And we're down to the very end. I think there may be two more sections of comb in here. And we still have this little section over here to get out. But I'm, I'm expecting to find our queen. We've come across at least five uh, queen cells with uh, larva in them. So these bees were Gonna supersede or swarm, one of the two. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. Down to the nitty gritty. We have this one little section right here. And we still have all of this stuff over here. And we have not found the queen yet, but I think she's migrated over to this side because there's a lot more bees on this side now than there were in the beginning. So let's finish this thing up. Now guys, we got Hurricane Well, Tropical Storm Nate is coming and we gotta get out of here. We just finished vacuuming up our bees. We did not find the queen, uh, but she probably uh, did get vacuumed up. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, close this thing up. So uh, for me and... Uh, Wreck it, Ralph. Thank you, Ralph. Have uh, a nice evening. Well, I'm sorry to have to change uh, sceneries like that on you so drastically, but we had to kind of like uh, improvise on, on the end of this video. The reason being, uh, we were kind of like right at the very beginning of Hurricane Nate, and uh, Ralph and I, we had to bug out of there really quick. Um, I was just about ready to close up the video, and uh, we got notification that the roads were getting ready to, to close, and we needed to, uh, to leave New Orleans before they closed down the causeway, the interstate for us to be able to get back across the lake. So we just basically took everything and threw it in the truck, bees and everything, and uh, hauled butt back across the lake. But uh, we did we did wind up pretty good. I mean, we, we didn't get the queen, uh, but we, we vacuumed probably 12, 15,000 bees. It was a lot of bees, you saw that. Um, and uh, Ralph, uh, actually I talked to Ralph last night, because uh, today is uh, uh, Wednesday, so it's uh, been five days since we did the cutout. and. Uh, I uh, talked to Ralph last night and he told me that everything is looking really good. Um, he, he added the, uh, the honey super on top of the, uh, the vacuum bees and the bees are, are working really well. He's still going to go back in there uh, this weekend and, and check on the superseding cells. I believe there were four or five of them that we had put inside of there. So the fact that we didn't get the queen or didn't know that we got the queen um, it doesn't really matter because they were they were going to get a new queen anyway. So I'm sorry about the uh, break here, um, and I'm sorry I didn't get to give you the uh, the, the final scene of, of what we did, but uh, it all did work out good. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. I'm out of here until the next video.
know, life don't get no better than this. Sitting on the back porch at the hunting hut, watching the bees eat up from all the comb that I put out here. What a sight, huh? Landing all over me, wonderful. God bless.